Hello everybody, welcome back to the Hacienda Rivet here. Today we're going to make something fabulous from the Dominican Republic. It's called Mangu and it is one of the top five recipes in the entire country and uh, you can see the simple ingredients here that it takes to make it plus salt and pepper of course and then as a bonus I am going to show you how it's typically served in La Republica an interesting little piece of trivia that I know is um, all Latin American and Caribbean countries are known as the Republic of fill in the blank uh, just like the Republic of the, the Dominican Republic. However, the Dominicans are the only people that refer to their country as La Republica or the Republic. And every Latin American person knows that when somebody is referring to a country as La Republica, they know they're talking about the Dominican Republic. I thought that was interesting. But anyway, let's go ahead and make this. All right, the first thing we gotta do is peel the plantains and uh, first thing is <clears throat> you cut off the ends like that. Now you see the plantains have these ridges running along it. You take a sharp knife and you want to score the plantain down along that ridge. You don't want to cut in too deeply because you really don't want to cut the plantain. And uh, then uh, the peeling will come off very easily like that. Once we have the uh, plantains peeled, we're going to cut them roughly into sections like that and uh, then in half. And uh, we'll do them all that way and I'll show you what we do next. Right, so now we have the plantains in a pot of cold water and it's got to be cold. You've got to bring it up from the cold and we're going to boil it until the potato, uh, the plantains are soft so we can mash them like potatoes. Uh, prior to this video I made uh, some sauteed red onion uh, with garlic and it's marinating in white vinegar. Uh, that's a typical side for mangu. And the Dominicans uh, serve it with fried uh, uh, sausage or pork or uh, any kind of meat and uh, I'm going to use a uh, spam. I got this here as a stocking stuffer for Christmas. I love it and so while we're waiting for the plantains to cook I'm going to fry some up. Alright now that the plantains are done uh, you've reserved the plantain water you boiled them in and add just a little bit there. Uh, you want to be generous with the butter so we're going to start with that. Um, we've got one teaspoon each salt and pepper. Um, and then we're going to add a little bit more of my cheater's garlic, not too much. And, uh, oh yeah, uh, we need some of the vinegar from the uh, onions that are marinating. We'll start out with three tablespoons and uh, we'll start mashing, just like you're mashing potatoes, okay? And uh, once I get these done, uh, we're going to keep adding water until they get the right consistency. So there you have it, a steaming bowl of delicious mangu. Now I had to uh, correct the seasonings, I had to add some more salt to it, so let's call it two teaspoons salt. Uh, let's get some plated up and I'll show you how it's served. Right, so we have our mangu here, and to that we're going to add some of these marinated onions, which are a must-have uh, for proper mangu and you can drizzle the vinegar over top of it and these onions taste really really good and there you go with that and to that we're gonna have some fried spam delicious stuff alright and this is a typical way to enjoy mangu Look at this. The plantain, it's got a nice peppery and salty flavor. The plantain's naturally sweet. You got the vinegar. Just a beautiful plate. Thanks for watching, people. Y'all have a great day.